Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to understand a new chapter under botany entitled photosynthesis. So let's get started. Photosynthesis, by definition, means the biochemical process where the living cells of the plants containing chlorophyll manufacture food with the help of water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. Now, the question arises, where is photosynthesis taking place in plants? The answer for which is it takes place in the chloro Plast. Now coming to the chloroplast. The chloroplast is a cell organelle. It is one kind of plastid which contains chlorophyll molecules. The chlorophyll molecules that is present in the chloroplast is what which initiates photosynthesis. Now let us try to understand what a chloroplast looks like. A chloroplast, which is a cell organelle or a kind of plastids that are found in the plant cells, are minute in nature, which can be round, oval or elliptical in shape. It is double membraned structure. It has an inner wall and an outer wall. Inside the chloroplast, there are structures which appears to be coins that are stacked upon one another. This structure which is appearing as coins that are stacked upon one another is called the granum. Now, the granum is composed individually of structures called thylakoid. So, this is the structure that is the thylakoid where the photosynthetic reaction takes place in the very beginning. Then moving on to the next component of the chloroplast, the component is the stroma. This component of the chloroplast called stroma is a jelly-like matrix. And this stroma contains a lot of enzymes for the chemical reaction photosynthesis. And here in the stroma, the second phase of chemical reaction takes place to complete photosynthesis. So, in gist, the overall structure of the chloroplast is presented on the board with two membranes, that is, it is double membraned, having inner wall and outer wall, and the granum, which is composed of the thylakoids, and this granum appears like stacks of coins placed one on top of the other. 
the light reaction takes place in the granum and the dark reaction takes place in the stroma. Now, we should understand the raw materials required for photosynthesis. So, raw materials required for photosynthesis. Since photosynthesis is a biochemical reaction, it requires a number of requirements such as chlorophyll, water, carbon dioxide and sunlight. So these are the basic requirements for the process of photosynthesis. Now we shall try to understand how photosynthesis takes place in the living cells of the plants containing chloroplast. Photosynthesis is understood under two phases. These two phases of photosynthesis are number one, light phase or light dependent phase. By the name itself, we can understand that this phase of photosynthesis requires light, that is sunlight. It is mandatory to have the availability of sunlight to undertake this phase called light phase or light dependent phase. The next phase is called dark phase or light independent phase. From the name itself, we can understand that this phase is independent of light. It refers to dark phase, but it literally does not mean that it takes place during dark. It means it is independent of light. That is, this phase can take place in the presence of light or in the absence of light light. Therefore, it is light independent phase. Now we shall try to understand light phase or light dependent phase. The very first question that arises out here is where is the light phase taking place in the chloroplast? And the answer is, the light phase takes place in the grana of the chloroplast. And why is it taking place in the grana? Why is it taking place in the grana? The answer for which is, the grana is the site of the photosystem present in the chloroplast. So therefore, it is the grana where light reaction takes place. Now coming to photosystem. The photosystem 
which is present in the grana is a collection of pigment molecules that initiate the chemical reaction for photosynthesis. Now let us try to understand what actually happens in the photosystem that is present in the grana of the chloroplast. And this photosystem, as I have already mentioned, is the one which initiates the chemical reaction for photosynthesis. The photosystem is a collection of pigment molecules and these pigment molecules are divided into two kinds. One is known as the accessory pigments and the other is known as the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the reaction center for the photosynthesis to take place in the very beginning. So what happens in the photosystem? When light strikes the photosystem, the photon energy, the photon energy of light is transmitted through the accessory pigments into the chlorophyll molecule. And when this photon energy coming from the sunlight strikes the chlorophyll molecule in this photosystem, the chlorophyll molecule ejects out electron. This electron enter into the electron transport system, electron transport system and begins the chemical reaction for photosynthesis. Now let us understand what kind of chemical reactions do take place during light phase as soon as the chlorophyll molecule ejects out electrons from the photosystem. The electron, as I told you, enters into the electron transport system or electron transport pathway and a number of chemical reaction takes place. So what are these chemical reactions that are taking place during the light phase or light dependent phase shall be discussed now. Number one, we come to activation of chlorophyll molecule. By now, we have understood what a photosystem is and what happens in the photosystem when the light strikes the photosystem. So here, chlorophyll molecules are activated. And as soon as the chlorophyll molecule is activated, we know electron is ejected from the chlorophyll molecule. This initial process of photosynthesis where the light coming from the extraterrestrial source ignites the chlorophyll molecule to eject an electron is referred to as activation of chlorophyll molecule. Number two, photolysis of water molecule or photolysis of water. Now, as soon as the electron is ejected out from the chlorophyll molecule, chemical reactions begins to take place with the help of the energy that is brought about by the sunlight and one kind of chemical reaction that takes place is referred to as photolysis of water molecule which is oxidation of water molecule. Here the water molecule 
breaks down into hydronium and hydroxyl ions. The hydronium ion is accepted by NADP, which we shall discuss later, whereas the hydroxyl ion recombines to form water molecules, oxygen, and liberating for electrons. So in this chemical reaction, we see that the hydroxyl ion recombines to produce water molecule. Oxygen is liberated as well as electrons are produced. This process is called photolysis of water, which is actually oxidation of water molecules. And this process, that is photolysis of water, is what liberates oxygen. That is, oxygen is produced during photosynthesis in this chemical reaction. The next that we come across is photophosphorylation. Photophosphorylation is a process of producing ATP, that is energy packets, by combining ADP with inorganic phosphate with the help of electrons. So, in this process, ADP is bound to inorganic phosphate to produce energy packets called ATP. Since this reaction takes place in the presence of light, it is known as photophosphorylation. And the last kind of reaction that takes place during light phase is production of NADPH. Here we see that NADP combines with hydronium ion that was produced by photolysis of water when water molecule splits to produce hydronium and hydroxyl ion. So this hydronium ion combines with NADP to give NADPH. The full form of which is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. This compound that is produced and this compound that is produced, that is adenosine triphosphate, ATP, and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen, which is produced during light reaction, becomes the reducing powers for dark reaction. That is, these are those constituent materials that are required for the completion of dark reaction. By now, we know that there are a number of products produced 
during the light phase of photosynthesis, which are as follows. So number one, oxygen is produced as a byproduct by photolysis of water. Number two, ATP that is adenosine triphosphate during photo phosphorylation and Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen is produced where these two products, ADP and NADPH, as I have already mentioned, becomes the assimilatory powers for dark reaction. Thus, we come to the conclusion of the very first phase of photosynthesis, which is light phase or light dependent phase.